to another episode of Edible Eric Eats. Today, we're, we're taking, a, we're, we're doing a, our little, little take on a classic dish called a fishy swap. We are gonna make a asparagus fishy swap. So right here, you can see, it's already done. Join me as I show you guys how to make this delicious dish. It's refreshing and it's simple, and it tastes just like it came from your garden. Uh, you all are familiar with fishy swap, the chilled potato leaf soup. But in my case, and in this instance, I'm going to swap in asparagus instead of the leaves. I wanted to try something a little different. Plus, I grow asparagus. Uh, I went away for a couple days and my uh, asparagus grew too big. Now it's tough and woody. I don't want to eat that just as it is because it'd be tough and fibrous and not very tasty. But if we puree it and strain it, it should come out good. So we're going to get started. First thing we're going to do is get an onion to start sweating. It's about half of a medium-sized onion. And just kind of give that a nice little rough chop. We're going to have pureeing this so don't feel the need to stress about getting it perfect. It's gonna go into our pot along with a tablespoon or two this blended oil. While that's sweating, we're gonna ready our garlic. And again, this is gonna be great. Give this a little rough chop. Our onion is sweating away. Now it's time to add a little garlic. Our garlic and onions have been sweating away. Now we're gonna add bay leaves. Always, in my opinion, always use fresh bay leaves. They're just so much more aromatic. Along with that, we're gonna put in our chopped up, cleaned asparagus pieces. They, the pieces of asparagus, it's all of the asparagus. I'm using all of it. You can see, because of the fronds, everything. The woody ends, because again, we're gonna strain this. We're gonna sweat this off for a couple minutes. You can see our asparagus getting all sweaty. Doing this thing. So, I think we missed it, but I added two potatoes, a quart of water, to this, along with five fresh thyme sprigs that I picked that I picked this morning for my garden. So now we're going to bring this to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and let it cook until the potatoes are nice and tender. These here fishy swaths come to a boil. Now we're going to reduce the heat and just let it slow simmer. Our fishy swath is cooking along nicely. Still needs a couple more minutes. Not quite done. Potatoes aren't quite tender. Looks like our fishy swath is done. The potatoes are pretty tender. Now, now it's time to take it to the next step. Now we are ready to puree and then strain our fishy swab. And into the blender we go. Whenever you're using a blender, especially with hot liquids, always make sure you start off low and go high. If you start high, you're gonna end up exploding the stuff out of the blender that is not good at best. You're just gonna have a mess to clean up. At worst, you're gonna burn yourself. Spatula. Scrape out as much as you can. You want to get all of it out of there. I'm straining this right back into the pot because we're not quite done cooking it. I'm using a ladle to push through the liquid, and you'll see when I'm done, it's going to keep all the fibrous material behind. So, as you can see in here, that's all the fibrous, tough material of the asparagus you don't want to eat. Oh, it's right here. So now to this, we're gonna add about five ounces of cream. And we're gonna bring this back to a boil and just let it incorporate. Give it a little taste and see how it's coming along. Let's taste it. As you can see, our, our fishy swab's got a nice little green color to it. We brought this to a boil. It's been simmering for a couple minutes. Now we're ready to take it off and season it. Now we gotta season it. Remember, when you're pre-seasoning something that's designed to be served chilled, you want it to go a little heavier because it tends to get, it tends to taste a little dull. With this, if you don't want to use black pepper, don't use it. Uh, use white pepper. I prefer black. I don't mind the little specks in there. All right, that's good. Now, we're going to take this, break it into little bit things, put it on ice, and let it refrigerate so it's nice and cold so we can serve it. We have let our fishy, we have let our fishy swab cool down. It's cold now. Now we're gonna plate it. See, it's got a nice consistency. Now we're gonna garnish it with two things. Garnish it with these, a little bit of these dry rubbed potatoes that are kind of pan fried up. A little bit of our grilled corn salsa. And there you guys have it, a little reimagining of what a fishy swap could be. So dig in guys, get a spoon, try to slurp it up and enjoy. Stay hungry and keep on eating guys. Thank you. Hey guys, looking for more? 
looking to up your cooking skills, then be sure to click subscribe so you can follow me while I break down techniques, dish out succulent tips, and show you a variety of recipes for you to learn from so you can not only keep on eating, but eat deliciously. Check out some of the other videos I got for you guys to watch.